This is Lamia from Bertrand. Do you hear me? I do hear you, Bertrand. I do hear you. That's wonderful, Christiana, to speak to you from Solar Impulse. Well, where are you? I'm in the middle of Saudi Arabia at 6,000 meters. And you, where are you? Bertrand, I am in New York at the Costa Rican Embassy in New York. I am so delighted to speak to you. I cannot tell you how moved I am. This is such an important moment for you, for Andre, for the whole team. It's an important moment for the history of flight. And it's a critical moment for the history of humanity because you are proving, again, that what was thought to be impossible does not need to stay impossible. You're making it possible. Uh, and I just can't tell you how moved I am, but everything that you and Andre and the full team have done. Well, you know, it's nice to hear your words, Christiana, because you, you are making the impossible possible also. I saw you at COP21, how you were working, how you prepared, how you encouraged the negotiators. And now you are running to become General Secretary of the United Nations. So that's also a fantastic adventure in front of you. And, uh, you know, you have so much passion that I think you will motivate a lot of people to follow you because you don't only have the skill. You also have the passion, and this is what we need. Well, we are. You, you and Andre and your whole team and I, we're passionate about uh, making the world a better place and uh, being able to, to really bring about uh, changes that were not thought uh, to, to have any space and opening up the space for possibility and opportunity. So it is, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful moment. But it's true that today the world is really not as good as it could be. And we all have to unite forces for that. That's true. But in the political world, they're especially missing, uh, or let's say it's especially in the political world that, that it's missing. And um, I think you can make a difference in that sense. It's, it's really important that we have people who will be able to push the political leaders to go into a better direction. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bertrand. You know that, uh, that I have been doing that for, for quite a few years. And if there's anything that I'm grateful for is uh, how, how we have been able to make a difference, but only because we're all working together. And you, uh, you and your team are a perfect example of that. You know that you and Andre would not have been able to do this flight if it weren't for the full collaboration of your team and your partners. And that's the same thing that, uh, that I'm working here toward um, because it's not about one or two people making a difference. It's about bringing everybody together as a, as a well-functioning team to make this world a better place. Maybe it would be interesting, Christiana, because we are live on Solar Pulse TV and a lot of people will be interested to hear that. What are you doing practically in your day-to-day -day life to become Secretary General of the United Nations? Who will decide at the end and who do you have to, to meet and who do you have to convince for that? And is it enough to have good ideas and good passion? Or is it also very, very political? It is very political. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it is ultimately, it is a decision that is taken by the 15 countries who are currently members of the, uh, of the Security Council. There are five permanent members and there are two, ele uh, 10 elected uh, countries on the Security Council. So there's a total of 15 countries. But that decision also needs to be supported um, by, uh, by, by the approval of the General Assembly, which is all 193 countries. So yes, it is, uh, it is very political. I think what is necessary here is to 
show that uh, that there is leadership, but that there's also impartiality. Because the moment that you take sides between one country or another, then you have lost the only real authority that this office has, which is the moral authority of impartiality. So uh, that is the conversation uh, that I'm having now uh, with all of these uh, governments to show them how impartial I have been over the past six years that I have served uh, at the United Nations and how I would like to continue to support them now in more areas than only what I've done uh, in the past. Vincent, yeah, that's we lost, excellent. And for the, we lost the visual. Coming from a country like Costa Rica, it's also a country that is neutral in that sense, uh, who has a very long tradition of impartiality. Yes, that's true. It has been a neutral country for many, many years. Um, and uh, I'm a true daughter of, of that country and have shown how uh, truly the, the global good is uh, what is being supported here by the United Nations. And it does not need to come uh, into conflict with national interests. I think that was the big lesson that we learned in the Paris Agreement, that national interests can be protected while at the same time pursuing the common good. Uh, because it is the common good of peace and security, which are the ultimate common interest of all countries and the number one uh, goal and mandate of the, uh, of the United Nations. Yes, absolutely. And when will the decision be taken? Uh, we don't know that. We don't know that yet. There was one vote. It's called a straw poll last week. And uh, there could be another straw poll, which is a vote on the part of the Security Council members next week. It could be, although it has not been uh, confirmed yet. Uh, but in any event, the Security Council will continue to take votes uh, with a certain frequency that hasn't been established yet until they come to a final decision. Which, uh, which absolutely has to be done by December at the very latest. But we know that the Security Council will try to come to a decision perhaps by October. So sometime between October and November. OK. So we will all follow this very, very carefully, because I think it would be fantastic to have somebody like you at the head of the UN. Well, thank you, thank you. So um, the human part, you know, the human part, not, not only the bureaucracy, not only the administration, but also the human part, doing good with passion and motivate people to follow. I think this is something that you know how to do. You motivate people, people are happy to follow you, and this is what we need today. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Bertrand. Although I have to tell you that I'm very grateful that there are 11 other candidates who are also willing to, to serve this purpose. Uh, and I think the, the Security Council and the General Assembly are well served by having a broad, uh, a broad array of people that they can choose from. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Excellent. Excellent. So, come and see us as soon as you can, uh, Christiana. And, well, uh, I'm very excited for your of, landing. You know, uh, for the, I'm very excited for your landing in the Emirates uh, tomorrow. Uh, I, am, uh, I am trusting that the evening, now that it is sunset over Saudi Arabia, the, the country of the sun, uh, and, uh, and you're experiencing a beautiful sunset right now. And I'm uh, trusting that the evening will give you a little bit lower temperatures because I know those high temperatures are very difficult for you to manage, uh, Bertrand. And you are right now doing something that has never been done by anyone, which is to manage these very, very high temperatures and the impact they're having on the stability of your flight. So uh, I will also be uh, very, very attentive to the progress of your flight over the next uh, 30 to 31 hours. Uh, and I wish I could be there personally to receive you uh, as you land. But as I will not be there, please, uh, this message is to say that 
in spirit, I am there and uh, rejoicing and celebrating you and Andre and the whole team uh, tomorrow as you land. Yes, thank you very much, Christiana. And you know that the landing in Abu Dhabi is not the end of the project, eh? because Indeed. we're going to work on bringing together, bringing together a lot of associations and organizations in order to create the International Committee of Clean Technologies, which is like the continuation of the Future is Clean initiative that you have been uh, one of the patrons. So there will be a lot of things again to do in the future together. Exactly, exactly. Well, so, so, so we celebrate the landing and the first flight ever, uh, but it's also, as you say, the, the beginning of a, of a clean uh, and much safer future. Exactly. So, Christiana, I give you a big hug. It was great to talk to you. Good luck. All the best. And uh, after the landing, we will talk again about the International Committee of Clean Technologies, how to promote these technologies, which is now a, a source of social stability, a source of wealth and development for all the countries of the world. So I think it's a really interesting work to do in the future, and I look forward to continuing doing it. Very good. We will do that. And bon chance for your for your last few hours. Thank you very much, Christiana. Thank, Thank you. you Thank bye you. Bye. A big hug to you and to Andre. Big hug. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.